Welcome back to Pro Black Pro Life's educational series called Wait a Minute. I'm Sherilyn Holloway, and if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that for me and hit the like button while you're down there. In this final episode that I called Death by Accusation, we are going to be talking about just that death by accusation. In 1921, Greenwood, Oklahoma was an affluent black community in which we call now the Black Wall Street. It was the wealthiest black community in the United States at the time. Unfortunately, the surrounding areas that were all white weren't so wealthy and actually unemployment rate and poverty was high, which made on looking to a community in which you as a white person segregated purposefully even after the Supreme Court had deemed it unconstitutional could make for low agitation. On May 30th, 1921, Dick Rollin was accused of assaulting a young white girl in an elevator. When brought to trial, a lynch mob showed up to ensure that whether or not he was proven guilty or innocent, he would be lynched. When I say lynch mob, you're talking about upwards of 300 people. Upon hearing this, the community of Greenwood armed themselves, 75 of them, to ensure his safety leaving. When the sheriff came out and told the mob that everybody was fine, they had it under control, everybody to go home, the black mob started leaving. The white mob then began to attack the black mob and tried to disarm them. Upon doing this, a gunshot went off. This led to one of the most brutal massacres in our history. The entire, entire town of Greenwood was burned to the ground. Over 300 black Americans were murdered. The reason why this made me say, wait a minute, is because this was not in my history books, as well as the massacre on Rosewood, Florida, in which a white woman said that a black man had came into her house and assaulted her. She couldn't identify him, but because the surrounding community was mostly white and there had been a huge growing of the Ku Klux Klan, over 5,000 white men went into Rosewood, which was a town of about 200, and massacred and burned the entire town down. You can look the stories up for yourself. These aren't secrets. Those are two incidences where we're talking about death by accusation. Nowhere in the Constitution does it say that that is permissible. So then we move to local history, something that's more timely, something that still is a little touchy. George Floyd was accused of using a counterfeit $20 bill. In that accusation, he resisted arrest and was then murdered. Again, nowhere in our Constitution, nowhere in our laws does it state that someone can be murdered for counterfeit money or resisting arrest. It doesn't really matter what their background was. What matters is the incident at hand. And I'm going to tell you why. Jesus was murdered by accusation. Here is a man who did nothing wrong, but because his peers were afraid of losing their power, they incited a mob that would scream, crucify him. And Pontius Pilate, who could have saved him, succumbed to the peer pressure and had him hanged. I just want you to think about that. We have a history of death by accusation. And if there is anything in there that you have to tell yourself in order to sleep better at night, to make that okay, you need to dig a little deeper. You need to get off Facebook. You need to have a real conversation. And if the person that you would have a real conversation with that doesn't look like you, but has the same ideals as you, you need to find someone else. And if you don't have anyone in your circle that may think differently than you, then you need to ask yourself why. 